It's a crucial job that saves countless lives. The calming voice on the other end of 911 connecting you to help when you need it most. But tonight we are learning Minnesota's largest emergency dispatch center is short staffed. The Ramsey County Center needs more than a dozen 911 telecommunicators. Kaya Edwards gives us a glimpse at what it takes to do the job and what to know if you'd like to apply. I started this job when I was 19. From dispatcher to director, Nancy Pass has climbed the ranks. We are the Ramsey County Emergency Communication Center. We take all incoming 911 calls, non-emergency calls. So we're gathering information. We're asking lots of questions to build a picture for the officer or the firefighter or the ambulance driver that is responding to the scene. Over the years, some things have changed. The public can now text 911 in addition to calling, and employees like Sasha Quant can exercise on the job. I am a public safety dispatcher. Those are the voices who share information with first responders. Like her boss, Sasha was promoted to this position. First, she spent about a year as a 911 telecommunicator. They're the ones who communicate with the public. Some of the harder aspects are talking to somebody uh, when they're having the worst day of their life. Um, it's you have to really get your emotions under control because you're a human being too and it's easy to empathize with others. But whenever there's somebody who's in a life-threatening situation and they get out of it, that is huge for us. Problem is, Nancy says there aren't enough people taking those crucial first calls for help. We are hiring 911 telecommunicators. Uh, the position is open currently and it closes on March 13th. We're hoping to hire at least 13 people. Hourly pay ranges from around $25 to $35 an hour. Benefits include medical and dental insurance, paid vacation and sick time, and support. It's a peer-to-peer -peer support for um, ha talking to people after having a hard call. When you go home, you are going to have tough days. It's going to be challenging. Um, but you can go home and you can sleep really well at night knowing that you helped people in your community. Kaya Edwards, Carol 11 News.